I have done it for so long and I haven't got used to it. I get you. I get nervous. I'm bad at it. (laughs) (laughs) Let's talk about Edinburgh. You just mentioned Edinburgh. You won uh, Best Show at the Edinburgh Festival. Uh, Yeah, in 2018. Yeah. That's very weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very very cool. Love that. How's how's life at the Edinburgh Festival once you win that award? (laughs) It's kind of... Well, I've just been there for about a week Uh and um, I haven't been performing yet. I I start next week. But um, it's... It's fun. No, it's good. It's, 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 it's like... I'm I'm like oh, I'm 31, but I st- I feel old there. Like because right. because I think things move so fast. And every every year there's like a new generation of people coming up, and it's so exciting and so cool. But then I'm kind of wedged in between. You know, all of the old old dudes I hang out with, if it's, you know, <laughs> it's constantly surrounded by them. And then these amazing, you know, uh, like younger generations and stuff. And so it is a bit odd. I think Edinburgh. Like, if you've performed there, it's like, it has this sort of, it's like a mind palace of slightly, like, traumatic memories every time. <laughs> you're, like, well, you're like, that's the that's the nightclub I performed to, like, six people at the top of at 4.30 p.m., you know, in 2016. And, uh, but, yeah, it's it's the best, it's the best place. Uh-huh. It's the best it's place. It's a mad old concept because it's just, like, constant stuff going on and you've oh got to get out there and, like, perform. Oh, yeah. You know, what were your memories of, like, first going there? Was it quite a terrifying place to go to Edinburgh? Yeah, it it was, it was, it's always like, yeah, it was a, it, being from New Zealand, it was always like a dream to be like, yeah, I can go and perform with the Edinburgh Friend. And like the first couple of years were quite d- difficult. You would be flyering and, and, you know, you would do shows sometimes. You know, actually, you know, my co, my co-star, or my, my good friend, Emma City, who was, uh, who's in the show, uh-huh. Starstruck, right. she, before I kind of knew her, she <laughs> came to one of my shows where I was sharing a, an hour with a friend. She was the only one who showed up. And I went, I'm so sorry, Emma. There's no one else. Can we please just cancel? And she made me perform half an hour of comedy just to her. <laughs> that is like, and like, that's that's her that's her personality. But that, I had to do that. Amazing. I performed a half an hour of stand-up at 4.30 to, uh, to, to one to person. To Yeah, who <laughs> then later became a friend. But uh, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it is great. And it's great being back there. And um, it, there's no place like it to, to perform, mm-hmm. like, you know, every day and... It's uh, it is great. So yeah, I, I mean, I think it's so terrifying. Do you mean you watch it perform? Yeah, I mean, it is. I I have done it for so long, and I haven't got used to it. I get you. I get nervous. I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actively bad. The award at it. Dif- disagrees. Yeah, no, do you know what I mean? You know, the clerical show. era. I don't know. Yeah, cl- yeah, it was not a clerical era. It's very, <laughs> very funny. And so you're there from this coming Wednesday. Yeah. And you're there, what, for a couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah, for the rest of the uh, oh, run. Fab. Yeah, I'm so, coming up, so I'm going to come and see you. Well, I'm 11 20 a.m., so, you know, you're going to have to get a coffee. Come on. Yeah. 